Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to play with makeup, but most importantly, I am sharing with you my best of the best, my recently discovered dupes. Now, it is no surprise that if you've been watching my channel, especially my vlogs lately, I have been dabbling into a lot of new stuff and a lot of new affordable skincare, makeup. We're mainly talking about makeup. So if you're interested, if you are a babe on a budget, or if you're just someone that is tired of spending all of your money at Sephora, at all Ulta, this is the video for you. I promise I will not disappoint. And if you're not yet subscribed, watch this video, watch other videos of mine, my vlogs, get a feel for me, see if you like the content that I'm creating. And if you do, I would love for you to become a part of my little family here on YouTube. You guys know I love talking to you guys. I love hanging out with you guys. And this was a requested video. So I love to give the people what they want. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into today's high-end versus drugstore and spoiler alert, the drugstore 99% of the time, in my opinion, is better. I wanna get something on my lips. My lips are forever dry, which is my fault. I drink so much water and I put so much lip product on my lips. I just have an eating my lip problem. Since my dad passed, I don't know what it is. It's like a nervous habit. I eat my lips and I pick my body. But for someone who has treacherous lips because she eats them, I do know how to take care of them, okay? I treat my lips well. This way I can tear them down. Psychotic, but true. The Nege Lip Sleeping Mask I used to think it was like a little overhyped. I do think it's overhyped in the sense that you can find a drugstore option, but it does a really nice job of just like plumping the lips, of filling in the lines of your lips. So I put Laneige on the bottom of my lip and you're just gonna see how this Wet n Wild lip treatment smells like grapefruit. They both smell great. This one smells like grapefruit and this one smells literally like strawberry, kind of like hard candy. I love this product. It has lasted me a really long time. A little also goes a very long way. This product is a little thinner, but it does the same thing. Fills in the lines of my lips. The Laneige definitely gives more of a sheen to the lips, but I'm gonna be honest, this is just a lip treatment. I use this as something to hydrate my lips before putting my lip combo of the day on. I just wanna give a really big shout out to Aquaphor. I mean, this is drugstore, you guys. This is nothing exciting at all. It's really good. Helps get my lips looking great. Like I ate them this morning and you would never know because I literally slathered this all over me. My sunscreen, my everyday moisturizer, my makeup primer, or anything that you could refer to this as. I use this every morning. This is my face cream, whether I'm going outside, not outside, in the winter, in the summer, in the spring, in the fall. You know, I love my Maraud Hydration SPF 30. You can find this or a good dupe for this. It's not as amazing, but it's a really good dupe. I've used it so many times. I finally ran out and I haven't repurchased it just because I bought a bunch of these in a sale. I think that Ulta had a while ago. So I have three of these. It's Neutrogena oil-free face with SPF 30. It is like 90% of the way there, but that is the best drugstore cream I've ever used with SPF 30. So if you can't afford Maraud or you just don't want to spend this much money because this is so expensive, I'll put a picture of it on the screen. This is what it is. Look for it at CVS. It is so freaking good. You will not be disappointed. I don't have an eye cream from the drugstore and I honestly can't even think of one because eye creams last me so long and I've been super into this Banana Bright. I'm very sorry. I don't have a dupe for this, but I did just want to throw it underneath my eyes. If you're wondering, I'm still using it and I use it every day. I still have a ton of it left. Seven out of 10 times when I sit down to do my makeup, I kind of just throw this NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum on my face. I use it as a concealer. I use it as a foundation. It just gives you like the most no makeup makeup kind of skin. I love it. In the realm of the Dior Backstage Concealer, NYX Bear With Me is a fraction of the price. I'm in the shade Vanilla. And then Dior Backstage Concealer, I am in the shade 2C. Are. Let's do drugstore on this side, high end on this side. This is just like simply how I would throw it on. The one downfall of this is that this does not have a wand. Somewhat annoying, but you know, we power through, we muster through. So with this, I just take a pump on the back of my hand and I work it into my brush and I'll go ahead and just apply this. And a little goes a very, very long way. And again, I'm using this as foundation and concealer wherever I want some coverage. If you're a baddie on a budget, like this e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. Oh my God, it's the best. It's my favorite concealer brush. I don't know if you can see the difference between the Dior side and the NYX side, but I love NYX 
way more than I love this Dior concealer. Coverage on both is pretty light. Like you can still see my darkness, you can still see my darkness, but just something about this NYX concealer. Like I think it's because it's a serum. Like you can really see it's like hydrating on the skin. It kind of sinks into the skin. Whereas this one looks more there. Does that make sense? Your colors aren't as great as the NYX colors. I find them to be way too warm for my skin tone. I think if you are someone that likes your skin to look like skin and you like a very natural kind of makeup look, you really need this. I guess let's talk about brows because I have quite a few brow products. Higher end ones are not great. So these are tinted brow gels, okay? I have these two high-end ones, which you know I love me some merit. For 1980 brow gel, I use the shade brown. This is my second favorite because my favorite is the drugstore one I'm about to mention that I've been talking about for years. So you should really guess which tinted brow gel I'm going to mention. Take a second. Leave it down below in the comments. If you guessed it right, let me know. I hate this, the Grande Brows 2-in-1. These both have lash serum in them. You put both of these through your brows, it's gonna condition them, help your brow hairs grow longer, help more of them grow. Kind of like it's helping you hold on to the brow hairs that you have. Okay, it conditions them. These are both expensive. This is more expensive. So if you want a lash growth tinted brow gel, Skip the Grande Brows, go for the Merit one, just because it's so much better. The pigmentation is more natural. This gives me like blocky SpongeBob brows. I don't know what it is, I don't like it. The wand is so nice though. Like honestly, when I saw this wand, I was like, this is gonna be a great time. But the product is just, it's terrible. I cannot lie to you. A bigger wand, which I like smaller wands, because I feel like you can get in there and really help to shape the brows. And it is appeasing to people of all brow sizes, in my opinion. Opinion because if you have small skinny brows, you can't use a big wand. It gets everywhere. But if you have big brows, you can use a small wand. Do you get what I'm saying? So this one is definitely bigger, but the way that this just looks like real brow hairs, it kind of has that like microfiber. So it just helps your hairs look like hairs. Whereas the Grande Brow, it kind of looks like, it just, it looks like you tried. So I'm gonna put this all over my brows and I'm just gonna help fill them in. I will show you, I'm gonna fill in my crappier brow first so you can really see the difference. It literally looks like my brow, but better. There are both brows brushed. You wanna go, I'm talking dirt cheap. This is my number one. This is the Essence Make Me Brow, and my favorite shade is Soft Brownie Brows. This has filling fibers in it. Just gonna go over, it's okay. You can use more than one brow gel. Can you see? how it just looks so natural. If you're gonna get any of the brow gels mentioned, I would recommend this one. It's It does the best job, in my opinion. I hate the Glossier Brow Flick. I could never get into it. It just made me feel like such a failure. Like being someone who is actually a makeup artist, I thought that I should be able to get it and that I would get it and I would just wanna boop, 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 boop every day with it because the way that it looks on other people is just fantabulous. But I could just not get it down. The NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. This, my friend, is a user friendly brow pen. If you struggled with the Glossier Brow Flick, I'm going to tell you that this will be game changing for you. I fill in my brows like I just did using a tinted brow gel or a clear brow gel. That's always what I do first. That's my first step. And then I go in with this and I store this upside down because the tip will dry out. Oh or explode like this did. That is the first time that that happened to me. Using the shade Ash Brown, I also have a dark brown one, but I just find that the Ash Brown one looks so natural on me. I'm just going to place this in areas where I feel like I need a couple more brow strokes. It's so good. My final brow category. If you are someone that loves your Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Whiz, which I love it. I really do. I find that this color is really good for me. It's the dark brown shade and I love how skinny the brow tip is because again, the skinnier a brow tip is, the more you can get in there and create those kind of hair-like strokes. It does come with a spoolie, but every single brow whiz I have ever purchased, every single time it breaks off, I don't understand. I wish that they would fix it. If they fix the spoolie, like I would buy another one. But because of that, I end up trying other brow products such as the Araceli BB brow pencil. I love this. It has a very, very similar shape to it. You can see it has a very small tip. You have Araceli here and the brow is here. Almost identical. Araceli, I have owned four of these and the, br the brow, the spoolie has not fallen off once. That is 
Araceli there. Friggin' identical, guys. I would say give Araceli a try. You know, it is a more indie brand. It is owned by a female entrepreneur that's from Mexico, and I just love the story. All of her products use ingredients that are native to her homeland, and it's just cool. I don't know. And I love Anastasia. Her story is so inspiring, but I just feel like Anastasia has been killing it for several years now. So give another creator a chance. And I would highly, highly recommend. These are so good. Do I even want to, I mean, I always want to use more brow products, but this is how, this is how I get in trouble because then people just come for me and tell me that my brows look crazy. But you know what? They're my brows and it's my face. I cannot take credit for this because Mike is the one who discovered this tweezer. But for the longest time, Mike would only use tweezer man, specifically the ones that have this sharp tip so you can get ingrown hairs, you can like pop as it, which I don't recommend doing. For the longest time, we only used Tweezer Man brand, but Mike found this Tweezer Guru on Amazon. I will link it down below. And these are the best sharp tipped tweezers I've ever used. It comes in a pack of two. So you get the one with the sharp end and then you get a normal pair of tweezers. And when I say normal, it just has like the angled, no, normal tweezers. These make me think of like splinter tweezers, but I use these to pluck my brows, you know? Super affordable. I think it's like 11 bucks for the two and again, I love tweezer man No offense to any of the products that I'm mentioning here today because I don't like to be negative and you know I try so many products and it doesn't mean that because I don't like a product or I say that it's not as good It means that like that whole brand is crap. Like that's not what it means It just means that that specific product I don't love because I hate to say anything negative about tweezer man especially because I always use their eyelash curlers and the brand is so so nice they comment on everything they're very interactive with me i love their eyelash curlers favorite eyelash curlers of all time so tweezer man your tweezers are great but these are just better but nothing is better than your eyelash curlers Givenchy Prison Lean Gray Powder. I don't have a drugstore powder in front of me at the moment. Essence Banana Bright Powder is a beautiful brightening powder, especially for underneath your eyes. It is a pressed powder. If you watched my most recent vlog, you know my cat blush. This is my new favorite powder blush. In my opinion, it's better than my Patrick Ta one that I have here in She's Seductive. I'm not comparing shades because these two shades are very different. Clearly the cat one, the kitty cat one, is more of a peachy, brighter undertone. I don't have a lot of peachy powder blushes. I have a lot of peachy cream blushes, but this is my first powder one and it's just so beautiful. But you guys also know that I do love Patrick Ta and I really love NARS Orgasm and Dolce Vita, my favorite. But what I love about this cat one is that it doesn't smell like anything, okay? I did have to wait a lifetime to get this shipped because it did ship internationally, but it's not scented. Whereas Patrick Ta has a scent to it. It's such a sweet color. And I kind of just go into all of it. It gives like a nice natural sheen to the face. I just, I love it. It's so pretty. And this is my favorite part when I just take it and like put it over the bridge of my nose. I don't know why that makes me so happy to do that every time. But I'm just gonna apply this all over the face. And I love that there's a cat. And I know I'm trying to be like a sophisticated lady, but cat themed things, I just, they get me every freaking time. I will link it down below. It's from a brand called ZC. I think they sell some of their products on Amazon, but how beautiful, how beautiful is that cheek? Oh my God. I have one cream eyeshadow on hand and I'm just gonna say I've never tried these Charlotte Tilbury pots of cream shadow. They look just like this though. This is Moira. It was nine bucks for this pot of coppery goodness. This and the Laura Mercier caviar sticks, which you guys know I love and adore, are very different. I actually think I have one right here that I can grab. Clearly very different, okay? Moira comes in a pot and I think she retails for $9. And then Laura Mercier comes in a stick. They're both super, super convenient. If you're just looking for a once over wash eyeshadow, I would go with Moira. I've never used Laura, uh, I've never used Charlotte Tilbury's simply because I'm not spending that much money on a one shadow pot. I'll spend nine bucks, but I'm not gonna spend, how much are they, like 24, 30 bucks? Spread it all over the lid like that. And it just gives like the most beautiful, natural, 
kind of like sheen to the eye. I hope you can see how the light is reflecting off of that. I love these so good. They come in an array of shades. Just wanted to give this a shout out because if you look at this, it's a four pan shadow. These are beautiful and I don't know, these kind of give me like Charlotte Tilbury vibes. Do we not agree? I mean, aside from the cat, it's not as sophisticated. I just feel like this looks like a Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette, does it not? This shade right here is like a glittery, see-through shade. And the second that I saw Tati Westbrook put it on her eyelids, it made me think of my beloved Fenty How Many Carrots highlighter that I typically use as an eyeshadow. Very, very faint, but on the eyes, they just pop. But this is the ZC, this one right here. See how it's just like a see-through shimmer. And then this one is the Fenty How Many Carrots. But they give the same kind of like see-through shiny eye effect. How many carrots right here on the eye. This one is a little bit pinkier, but I just want you to see that they give a very similar vibe. Can you see how just like shiny? Again, this one I think is a little bit more natural looking because it has that like pink warm undertone to it. Whereas Fenty How Many Carrots has a cooler kind of undertone to it. But can you see just how beautiful both of them are? I have two high-end brands that make my favorite eyeliners. Charlotte Tilbury. You know I love, love, love her Barbarella Brown because it's a nub and it's right here, right? I love this color. It is a beautiful dark brown. Dark, dark brown, dark, dark brown, matte, beautiful, stunning, we love her. Another eyeliner that I love that I don't have in front of me is MAC, MAC Teddy. I love it. It has a little bit of sheen to it. You've seen it so many times. My dupe is better than both of them. And my dupe is the Honeybee Gardens Belgian Chocolate Eyeliner. It's Belgian chocolate. Like it is a lighter, brown than this one, but this is so pretty. I am so in love with Honeybee Gardens. Their lip liners, beautiful. Their eyeliners, beautiful. Anything that comes in like a pencil form, this stays in the waterline better than MAC, better than Charlotte Tilbury. The best eyeliner I've tried in a really, really long time. It's like embarrassing how excited I get over this. When you find a liner that makes it fun, that's when you know it's a good liner. I haven't really been winging it out. I've kind of just keeping it like to the lid, just like that to give a little bit of depth. I have to say the tip of this stays pointier, longer than Charlotte Tilbury. That's the one gripe I have with Charlotte Tilbury liners. Her lip liner, her eyeliners, it's like the same kind of formula. They're very, very creamy. Because they're so creamy, the product melts quickly and you lose the tip. This is just so nice because it's, it's a wooden, it's like a true wooden liner. So it gives me more like MAC vibes. For mascara, y'all know, I love my Lancome Lash Tool. This is my high-end mascara of choice. I've just, I have gone through endless amounts of tubes of these and I think that my next mascara that I want to try high end is going to be Gucci just because I watched Tamara here on YouTube. She's a vlogger and she always uses a Gucci one and it looks like Lancome Lash Adol but like on crack. So I just, I have to try it. It looks so beautiful. One coat of Lancome Lash Adol and then my drugstore counterparty that I love, love, love recently. This has become my favorite drugstore mascara. This is Maybelline Sky High. I have her in a trial size. I love this way more than the Benefit Bad Gal Bang, which is also a high-end mascara. It gives that like whimsical lash that I love. It's just like your lashes, but better. Like it separates them, it elongates them. How good is that? Look at how comparable. It's so good, I love them both. So this is the wand, kind of like silicone. And then Lancome does have a bend in it, which I think is really good to lift the lashes and really get in there. I love them both. And if you are babe on a budget, like I think the proof is in the pudding. Like they're both really good. And again, that's just one coat. My favorite all time, lip liner and the drugstore one that I'm going to tell you to buy is really comparable like so so freaking close but it is no cigar. My favorite lip liner of all time is by MAC. There is nothing like a MAC lip liner. This is a hill I will die on. There is no better lip liner, okay? Anastasia Beverly Hills had me fooled for a moment. My MAC, this is in the shade Strip Down. And then Anastasia Beverly Hills, this is in the shade Hazelnut. My high-end Strip Down here, 
hazelnut here. They're both really beautiful. Again, I think MAC is better than ABH. Just like formulation, in my opinion, lasts longer. I don't need to touch up as much as I do with ABH, but I like a stiff kind of lip liner. I like a lip liner where you need to build upon it, where it's not like super creamy and you go a little wonky, it's gonna be hard to fix. These are just very user-friendly beginner lip liners. My drugstore alternative to both of these is NYX. And I've talked about this so many times. I've practically like preached to you that if you haven't tried a NYX lip liner, what are you doing? This is their suede matte lip liner. Any of their lip liners are great, whether it's their suede line, just their classic lip liners, so freaking good. And this is in the shade Stockholm. How super similar the finishes are. And honestly, the colors are not too far from one another. I'll do one side with the NYX. And I haven't, I haven't been crazy with the lip liner, guys. I don't know who she is. I've really been loving a more natural lip lately, which makes no sense because I look at my lips in the mirror. I am 32, not that that's old, but it's the oldest I've ever been, you know? What's that saying? You'll never be as young as you are today. But I also have not ever been as old as I am today. Double-edged sword. My lips are a little depleted compared to how they were in my 20s. I hate when people are like, I turned 30 or I turned 40 and then this happened to me overnight. I hate that. I hate it and I don't want it to be true. But I will say since turning 30, my lips have depleted and I do feel like it was an overnight thing. But with that being said, why do I love a more natural lip look? I don't know, I would, I would think that if my lips were depleted, I would be overlining them and juicing them up more than ever. Okay, so this is NYX Stockholm. Again, very subtle, beautiful lip liner. Just a kiss of a lift on up and bottom, on the top and on the bottom. You know what I'm saying. Now, MAC stripped down, and that's only fair because MAC is my favorite. So we should see the difference between my favorite and my more affordable. They are different shades. All right, this one is a little bit more peachy, but I did want to show you what they look like. Honestly, super comparable. I'm gonna go over the next one just because I do want my makeup to look good and I do want my makeup to match. So I just put a little bit of the MAC everywhere and now I'm gonna go back in with NYX just to make it even. I'm just gonna marinate the two together. Honestly, both really great lip liners. You can buy like four NYX ones for the price of one MAC Cosmetics. So we have all of your lip liner preferences covered. I shockingly do not have any lipsticks because I did a really good job in my, in one of my previous dupe videos on lipsticks. So I will link it up here as well as put it in the end credits of this video. To be honest, also, I have been trying a lot of higher end lipsticks since trying the Dior Lip Glow have spiraled into a rabbit hole of like higher end kind of like bombs. I know it's terrible. And if there's one thing you should not spend your money on, it is a lip balm. But that Dior 001, there's just something about it. It is so beautiful. It fills in the fine lines of your lips. I love it. I just bought an Estee Lauder one. It was on sale during the 21 days of Ulta. Otherwise I never would have bought it because I already spent like 30 bucks on the Dior one. And then this one retailed for 36 and I got it for half off. So I was like, let me get it. But again, I digress. I will, I promise you this fall, I will go to the drugstore. I will find bombs to compare to my Dior, to my Pat McGrath, to my soon to be in my hands Estee Lauder and we could do like a whole drugstore dupe lip balm video. If you love lip balms, tinted lip balms, let me know and I will happily do that for you. I'm probably gonna do it anyway because honestly the thought of me, like I just, I'm envisioning myself walking through CVS and like picking up all the bombs and just like falling in love with a $3 lip balm just to hate myself because I've been spending $30 on lip balms like Dior. Um, I don't know, it sounds like fun. My favorite lip gloss, and I'm not even going, well, I'm gonna name some, but like, let this be the end all be all. This lip gloss, and I don't know why it took me a lifetime to try this, is the best lip gloss I think my lips have ever, have ever come across, but it's the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. It has hyaluronic acid in it, and it just like, plumps the lips. It leaves my lips juicy. I love, love, love my Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Baths. They do a plumping. They have that minty kind of feeling, but there is nothing like this Maybelline one. Favorite shade personally for me in stone. I mean, they're not far off from one another. So this is the Maybelline in stone. And then this is Charlotte Tilbury 
and pillow talk her lip collagen bath they both do that lip plumping make your lips look better but personally there's just something so beautiful about the maybelline formula that i just keep coming back for more like when i'm looking at my lip gloss collection i would normally reach for these like this has been my go-to for the longest time but now i'm just like no i want this it's such a beautiful kind of like brown peach. And then I did want to show this dupe to you guys because when I saw it, I was a little mind boggled. MAC, their lip glass in see-through. This is an iconic kind of like center of your lip pouch shade. And it is called see-through because you could practically see through it. It does give a little bit of a peachy undertone, but it is so, it's so stunning. However, if you are a babe on a budget and you want that inner lip kind of like glossy pout, but you don't want to splurge on a MAC lip glass. And personally, I don't love their glasses. I find them to be sticky on my lips, which is why while I love this shade, I really don't reach for it a lot. So this is better because I do love the NYX butter glosses. And this is in the shade Fortune Cookie and my name is Fortune. So like, how cute, how stinking cute. Can you see they are pretty close? I would say fortune cookie is a little bit pinker, but I mean, if you're looking for that beautiful, I'll put a little bit on. Center of your lip kind of pout. I'll put NYX on the bottom and I'll put Maybelline up top. Can you see, they kind of give the same exact effect and how much bigger do my lips look now? So freaking big. Some honorable mentions. Now I don't have it in front of me. I'm not going to get it. You will know what the new face looks like if you don't know what it looks like. I'm so sorry, but are you living under a rock? I love my new face. It is amazing. I will say you need to be consistent with it because if you're not consistent with it, you will not get the results that you want. I new faced my face today and I just like looking in the viewfinder, my face looks tighter, brighter, and I love it and I swear by it, but it is very expensive. If you really want that product, you can find it, it will go on sale, just be patient. But if you're just like, that is out of my price point, I'm just gonna recommend you get a gua sha. Now, it's different. The new face, you need to charge it. It has a microcurrent that runs through the two prongs. I've talked about it so many times. This is a manual tool. There's no plugging it in, it is what it is. It is what it is. But what you do is you massage your face and you massage the muscles in your face to kind of help relax them. Both products do the same thing, just with different variations. Now the new face has a microcurrent. This one, you're just manually working out the muscles in your face. So I will say, if you want the new face, but you're not there yet financially, or you wanna see a difference without just spending that much money in general, get your hands on a gua sha. This one is from Complex Culture and it is in rose quartz. I love it, it's so pretty, it makes me so happy. I notice such a big difference when I gua sha and I also notice such a big difference when I use my new face as opposed to just like what my face looks like naturally as a 32 year old with no Botox, no filler. She's on natural. I have always used Rodan and Fields to grow my lashes. I have used so many lash serums throughout the years. Rodan and Fields is really the only one that has ever worked for me, but it is $150 for a tube of what looks like mascara. So, you know, that's a lot of money. And I was shelling that out every three months and I have decided to stop doing it. And I have noticed such a difference in my lashes, in my brows. Now that I am simply just using castor oil, this is a makeshift at home concoction that I did. Well, I just kind of put the two together. You know, I'm not making oils at home, although I would not put that past me at some point in my life, I would totally be into that. But I went on Amazon, I bought castor oil, and then I also bought this little mascara one. I filled this guy up myself, and every night before I go to bed, I use this mascara wand to brush it through my brows, through my lashes. My lashes are longer, and I definitely have more volume, because I did stop using my Rodan and Fields, and this is just a more natural, I would imagine healthier way to grow your lashes, and also your brows. When I use the Rodan and Fields, I do get discolor from using it because of the chemicals. So I just wanted to try something a little bit more holistic. I just wanted to mention setting spray very quickly. I love my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and I was fooled for a moment by thinking that the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray was better. This is a trial size. The fact that it's not scented, it does not leave my skin feeling sticky. This is very lightly scented and it smells really, really nice, but it leaves my skin feeling a little sticky. It doesn't give me as much of a refresh. 
and it's a continuous spray, my Morphe. So as you hold this down, it just keeps going, my friend, until you stop. Whereas Charlotte, it's kind of like a one and done. Everyone and their mother who loves this has tried this and said that this is better, just so you know. All right, guys, and that is it. Those are all of my high-end makeup and the dupes that I think will really rock your world. And honestly, a lot of my dupes are better than my high-ends as we discussed, but do be sure to let me know down below in the comments what dupe from this video are you most excited about? Like, which dupe did I show you and the moment that you saw it, you knew you had to buy it? I would love to hear, do you agree with the comparisons that I made? Do you disagree with the comparisons that I made? Do you have a dupe that you need to share? Because I would love to hear it. I would love to check it out. Do be sure to let me know down below in the comments. If you're not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. I would love for you to become a part of my little family here in this very small corner of the internet. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so, so much for joining me. And I genuinely hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.